Hello everyone, I am Royal to the face behind this YouTube channel. Thank you so much if a new subscriber or a returning subscriber. Thank you so much. I love you and I appreciate you. So in this video, I will be showing you how to sew this design. I actually made a video on how to recreate the original design using a quarter scale pattern. I'll put the link to that video in the description box. But this video is strictly going to be a sewing video because some persons requested for it. Now, if you are interested in learning how to sew all this parts together, please stay tuned. But then please know that this blouse is a little bit different from the original design. I decided not to insert a collar into this blouse. The original design was a gown, but then I decided to make mine a blouse just for illustration's sake. Then thirdly, my own collar is a little bit um, narrower as compared to the original design. And that was because I wanted my cape to fit into this um, colored portion of the Ankara fabric. But then, irrespective of the little little alterations, if you follow the sewing video, the sewing procedure in this video, you should be able to sew yours effortlessly, irrespective of the manipulation that you might have done on your own. Now, thirdly, um, when I showed the back view of this blouse, you realized that the zipper was not properly fixed. Now, my intention was to use an invisible zipper, but I do not have an invisible zipper in the house. So, in the next two videos, I will be showing you how to fix an invisible zipper, even if you are using a blackhead machine or an industrial machine. So, stay tuned to the sewing process. I'll see you soon. I will be showing you how to make the design on the screen. Now, this video is not a pattern making video, it's a sewing video. So, I'll be showing us how to make the dress, how to sew the dress. I have here my patterns. I've had to do this because um, I think few persons requested for a sewing video, so I will be doing this. I have here my back blocking. I forgot that I was I should have recorded this, so I've already cut out my um, yoke for the back block here. This is what I have for the front block. This is my front block. Um, this is how it looks like a full. I'm sure you must please if you before you watch this video I would advise you to watch the subsequent video on how I made this pattern. So this is what I have here, my pattern. Now this is my uh, yoke skyline. Remember I told you to notch where the yoke will join to the armhole. So I have this here and this will be the yoke that will join to it. Now this will go through my sleeve and all the way to the center back. Now this is my sleeve pattern that I use for the Construction. I'll probably in the next video I'll show you how to draft a basic skin. But then you can also make use of your own pattern method of pattern making. It doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut all this in fabric and I will show you what I have now. So I have here my cake on fabric. Please note that to cut four pieces of this or probably two inches on fabric then two pieces on fabric then two pieces are lined whatever you desire so when you place your cape on your fabric this way remember to add half inch or quarter inch joining allowance and the other thing you can do is you can increase the width of the collar if you are not satisfied with what you have you can just add more your choice is all yours you can add more go to the front and to the back you can increase the width like so. Now the other thing is if you want to have a sort of wavy effect at the outer edge of the collar, all you have to do is insert, um, just cut your slash lines. You can insert, draw your slash lines and cut it. Now when you open it this way, you will have added a little bit to the outer edge. This will show that you have a sort of wavy effect. It may not be much, but probably just a little, depending on how much you open this. So when you open it this way, you are adding weight so you may have a little um, wave at the outer edge. Now you can insert your slash lines both on the front part and also at the back part. Now one important measurement you have to consider is the distance between the notch. Now the distance between the two notches should be equal to the distance between the beginning of your armhole in front across your bicep to the beginning of your armhole at the back. Now if the distance between the two notches is not the same with what you have um, across your bicep. The cape will be too tight, you will not be able to raise your hand. So what you have between these two notches should be probably half inch more than what you have on your bicep so that you will be able to raise your hand. Now if you do not have enough, you can possibly just lash through 
and increase the width. Now, looking at the original design, you realize that around the hand part, the, the tape drops a little. That you call there's excess there. You can just um, cut your slash lines and have probably one or two inches, depending on what you have. Now, I will show you another way of getting your cake if you don't want to do this long process. Now, what I guess the designer did, I don't know, the other way you can do it is just to um, take your front body block, this is my uh, front block, you measure from the waist to the armhole, whatever you get, add it to the distance between the center back and the armhole, whatever you get here, add it to the value of the beginning of your front armhole and cross your bicep to the back. So that can give you as much as 20 or 25 inches depending on your size and to whatever you have around the beginning of one ammo to the next ammo you can have probably one or two inches in so that the, uh, the cave will drop a little. Now what you do is when you get that your measurement you have to put your fabric on fold, divide that measurement into two. So what you have here, this side that is on fold will be the side that is around the arm part and this side here that is cut here will be the side around the center front. Now from the side that is on fold, you measure down the desired cape width around your shoulder, probably six inches, measure it down. Now from here to here will be the length, half of the length of your cape, because the fabric is little to get from here to here, you just connect, you have something like a, uh, um, I don't know what it's called, but you have something like this shape, you can cut it out and you can possibly try. But please note, I did not use this method. The method I use is this uh, pattern method which I can vouch for. But if you want to try this method, it's fine. So let's continue. I have here, I'll be using this for the sleeve. This is my yoke already. Now this is a long strip of fabric that I will gather on the waist. I'll just be showing this blouse for illustration sake. I have here my cape. I had it on um, interfacing. I used um, stay. Stay, is this stay at the spot now? Uh, but you can use your essay as well or your BFF, whatever, depending on what you want to use and what you want to achieve. What I have here is just normal lightweight stay. I have my front yoke. Now, this is my back fabric here. This is my lining. I'm actually using um, what is properly called spider at this part of the world. I have my lining. This is my front panels. I added essay and my wording. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and join everything but all the what i'm going to do is i will join the front panel and when it gets to the part of uh, joining the cape and the yoke all together i'm going to show you what i have I have here my front bodies i have joined it here i have the front part the back side i've joined it this way this is the other to the left side i have my lining as well i have joined my lining as iron please ensure you iron as you go join my lining as well now this is my cape now I've actually turned it with uh, the same fabric but what I did was that remember I told you to notch where the cape will join into the body so I have here for the front and for the back now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take uh, let me use this side of the cape this side so we all know that the notch here will be remember please I have added half inch of joint allowance for the sleeve so the notch should be half inch away from here and this one will go into the style line like so and for the back as well the notch will be will start half inch away from the seam allowance all the way but then i want you to know that from the first notch to the second notch you would have to turn that part because that part will be exposed but from the notch downwards it's going to go into the skyline so from one notch to the other you would have to uh, turn it i'm going to do that for the left and also for the right side now welcome back so far this is what i have i have stitched like i said and i have ironed now i have this shape here the half inch sewing allowance for this side I've been taking him while I have my half inch allowance that will go into the skyline. Now for you to achieve this, but before then you can see that this is properly ironed. Ensure you iron properly. Now what I did was just to show you again. I uh, stitched from one notch to the other, just like you can see with the black thread. Now at the end of the notch, please ensure that your um, sewing the knot past the notch. Now this is my notch here, as you can see that my sewing does not pass the notch. Now at the 
exact point of the notch you are to notch to the thread to the thread ensure you do not cut through just from the exact point of the notch just cut in by go in by half inch and both on the left and on the right and another thing i did was just to notch at intervals just to ensure that my curls lay so i'm going to trim this off and i'm going to turn an iron and i'll have something like this now we're going to start the joining and i'm going to show you how to join it now i need my block remember i've joined my front and my back together i have my yoke now i'm going to ensure that my yokes start half inch away from the hem because this half inch will be what i will use to hold the sleeves together so what you have to do just put it this way if it is you will need to pin but i will not be pinning in this video i'm just showing you how to do it now after you have done it this way remember this is my uh, front yoke this is the right side of my front yoke now your front yoke will start from the exact uh, um, pattern the exact side of the pattern because your yoke also have um, joining and half in joining allowance for the sleeve so this side is going to be but then remember your lining so what you will do is the first layer will be your bodice then your cape now you will flip your yoke to the other side this way that's why i said you will need to um, pin please i will advise you to pin then the final thing you'll be putting on top is the lining so as to cover up all your seam allowance for you to have a neat uh, finish finishing so this is what i'm going to do now now for the back as well same thing you take your your back body your yoke this way remember your yoke will start half inch from the sides now your yoke may enter into your zipper allowance and it may not depending if you have a zipper allowance to your yoke it, sh it should enter into your zipper allowance but if you do not you should stop exactly on your zipper line but then i had a zipper allowance so my yoke will start half inch away from the side and all the way to my zipper allowance remember this is my yoke that will hold it down now for me here my yoke actually i'm not sure if the yoke will enter into the zipper allowance i can't remember now but then this is your line so you flip your yoke this way and you use the line to cover everything now that means you have four things to join together I will advise you to pin to ensure you don't keep using So here is my blouse. I am done with the sewing. Um, this is how it looks like I've inserted my sleeve. I'm sorry I didn't show you how, the, how to insert the sleeve. It's not for this video. But if you want me to show you anything you want me to do and without sewing, you can leave it in the comment section. I will consider it and find time to do it. So this is what I have here. I have fixed my sleeve. I have fixed my cape. Now looking inside, this is my zipper. It's not um, done yet because this is not the zipper I want. And this is how the inside looks like. Um, I've not turned the neckline with um, bias because I do not have white bias in the house. Now this is what the waist region looks like. And you can see the inside is perfectly closed. Now I'm using a black <laughs> and a brown lining. This is just for illustration. Do not try this thing. And do not report me to my mentor. Please thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so this is what the inside looks like. Now for the ammo, I'll definitely whip this. And uh, my sleeve, I have to join fabric because I do not have enough fabric. So this is how the inner part of this looks like. And the final thing I'll be doing properly next is the zipper and the neckline. So yes, I'm sure you have seen how this does look like at the beginning of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can drop. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.